In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable unused RSS feeds in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins, and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down this page, there's a spot for us to enter our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at AIOSEO.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So before we get into disabling RSS feeds, let's first talk about what is an RSS feed. Well, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication or Rich Site Summary. And basically what it is, is a way for WordPress to communicate that updates to the site have been made. So if someone has an RSS reader, they can subscribe to your RSS feed. And inside that reader, anytime you publish a new post, they'll know that you published a new post. For a lot of people, this is a good thing. This is kind of an advanced feature that we're going to get into in this video today. So if you don't know if you need to do this or not, probably best just to leave it alone and leave it as is. But there are use cases where you want to turn off some of the RSS feed. The issue is crawl quota. Google is only going to allocate so much resources per website to crawl that website. So if you have something like RSS feeds that you aren't using, it's a good idea to turn them off. So I'm going to show you today the easiest way to do that. And the easiest way to do it is using the all-in-one SEO plugin. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu and click on Search Appearance. And then on the tabs up top, you want to click on Advanced. And then we're going to scroll on down to where it says Crawl Cleanup and make sure this is enabled. The first section is about removing query args. We're not going to talk about that in this video, so just scroll down past that to the RSS section. So. If you were going to leave an RSS feed enabled, the one to leave enabled would be the global RSS feed. That's the most useful one. So in this example, I am going to turn off the global comments RSS feed. I'm going to turn off the author RSS feed. The author RSS feed will let people know anytime there is a new post from a specific author. I'm going to turn off the post comments feed. I'm going to turn off the search feed. I'm going to turn off the attachments feed. I'm going to leave the paginated RSS feed disabled as well. And then in taxonomies, I'm going to deselect everything. The only thing that was selected in this example was tags. The Atom feed I will leave disabled as well. And the RDF RSS 1.0 feed I will leave disabled. If I hit the blue button here at the bottom that says Save Changes. And now for this website, all these extraneous RSS feeds, except for the main one, have been disabled. So this will help with our crawl quota, which is why it falls under the crawl cleanup section. Again, this is a pretty advanced feature. If you don't know exactly what this does, it's better just to leave it alone. But this is how you would go through and turn off individual RSS feeds that are created automatically by WordPress to save your crawl quota. 
So that's how to disable RSS feeds in WordPress. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to dramatically speed up your internal linking workflow. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.